Um, hey everybody, so I'm going to show a little bit of um, the BRAMs, uh, how to do a BRAM or tonal hit in uh, our new sound set, Massive uh, Fuel, so you get an idea on how to use uh, the sound set and how you can um, do your own custom sounds and learn a little bit more about um, um, how Massive works. and different ways of working, I guess, uh, tutorial. Okay, so um, this this was one that I was working before, before Logic crashed for some reason. I'll do something else, but for, so for you to get an idea. So basically, um, I came up with, um, I used this sounds, uh, I used uh, static bram, Oh, um, okay, so going back a bit, uh, so what I do is I have um, my Nano Core Controller uh, pan pot controlling the eight um, macro uh, knobs in, in um, uh, Massive, so you can see them down here. Uh, for those who have it or have some sort of similar MIDI controller, um, so what I do is, because I had some problems setting it up before, so just for those who want to know, I, uh, for me what works is map the, um, the Nano Control, the not pan pots to be CC MIDI 16 through 23, and, um, so you can see down here in the yellow knobs. So the cool thing, um, have been able to have all this, the macro controllers that are different parameters are assigned to different knobs. Diff and you can set diff um, uh, several parameters into each of one of those knobs. So it, it creates a lot more um, play playability as an instrument um, but the other thing is of course you can go through each sound uh, and change it a lot so from that uh, I don't know if it's gonna sound the same so I added decapitator one of these uh, patches, one of these, uh, yeah, yeah, presets. Uh, a little bit of Wahala Room, a lot. A little bit of uh, Limiter just in case. I've been experimenting with uh, Saturator, M Saturator. I haven't bought it yet, but, or maybe, I don't know. I, I have way too many plugins, just <laughs> wait to see the waves once. It's like, whew. Um, so the cool thing, uh, the, you can change the harmonic, uh, the amount of the, satur the saturation affecting um, e each harmonic, the third order harmonic. So for now, I'm going to bypass it. Okay, so... So it changed from that um, preset that, 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 that sounded to something like this. So you get that grime at the end, just that kind of feedback noise at, at the high end. Um, then I added this one. Kind of some background noise, which I made it from, actually from a pad, I think it was, and, and processed it. And then reverse this uh, static bram. Ah, that's not the name of the patch. Oh, logic. Uh, whatever this was. Or low gravity. Okay. Uh, so reverse the pitch shift. I don't know what the fuck I did. Um, and created this like uh, quick riser. Plus, I had it. My I added my own. 
and then my own sample from um, my own recordings. So that adds a lot of, um, you know, low end and it. And then I was recording um, another. I was trying to do something different uh, with this one here. Okay, so this. So the sound sets have um, C1, C2, C3, you can see after the name. And that's a, um, uh, so we're kind of the range where it sounds good. Um, and also what it was exported, we also render all these sounds into WAVE. So people can um, use them in, in their sampler of choice or drag them directly into their DAW. So I think it was A. I'm gonna do an octave up. Uh, see how that sounds. So I'm just gonna, I guess that sounded more like doing the same thing, just dealt with that. So obviously the, <laughs> the dubstep uh, Skrillex. So if, if you want to do that, then, you know, Massive is awesome for that. But, but, create something a little bit more unique. My mind that sounds um, amazingly great. Um, if it's mixed with other things, I don't know if <laughs> maybe it does. Uh, I was trying to do something else, but whatever. So just tiny bit takes you a long fucking way. So. Um, Let's see if I can record that. Um. Yeah. So if I take this one out. Ah, pretty cool. Okay, so uh, it's around the same way. I don't know. Let's do something a little bit more um, sireny, <laughs> more um, uh, let's see. Interesting. Feeling it, but the cool thing with massive is you can change a full change, change the uh, wavetables, and you get a different sound. Uh, 
Ah, I'm still doing the same thing I did before. I'm attracted to those sounds, I guess. It's sexy. Let's try something else. Up. This one's gonna go down. Save it. Okay, so that got a little very saturated. But let's try... Um, where are you? Sounds very metally. Cool, see how that sounds with this. Cool. Well, here it is, hopefully. You can see how you can start easily from one of these um, sound sets and come up with a whole uh, whole bunch of, of um, Bram styles, I guess Bram hits. Um, so it's easy to change maneuver and, and keep changing stuff. So okay, if I go, and obviously you can do the same, let's go down for, If we, if we use one of the other ones. So same thing. So I, I did it with Brahms. Um, but there's... Uh, downers. Uh, impacts. Uh, let's go to... Um, oh, the tiny letters. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's my... Um, uh, my stereotype that German software makers love their tiny letters. 
Uh, I don't think I'm playing. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Okay, now I'm playing the... So same here, you can do your own. Let's go over here. So you can start off. So uh, I'm I'm the one doing the modulation. <laughs> Just over dramatic. Okay, so. Oh, speed. <laughs> Or, yep, so, you know, uh, once you start adding a whole bunch of other effects, that might be a little bit too much for... And then you change it to audio, uh, you bounce it to, uh, to audio and, and, you know, process it even more, um, yeah. So hopefully this will give you more an idea of um, how to use a sound set, kind of how I'm using it, and how to do your own uh, synth synth brands and or other trailer um, sound design. Um, I go through it a little bit on the um, on the walkthrough, but you can see that it's like the ones are just the trailer hits. Oh, sorry, the brands. Two are the downers, then three are the kicks, and in the manual it gives you the breakdown of the categories. It's easier for me than the browser. I, I don't, you know, that's it's on purpose because, you know, categories on mass and native instruments, massive. You know, it's obviously trailer composers and film scoring are part of what native instruments want to sell to whom to sell to but my opinionated self thinks that they're really going after the hip-hop EDM crowd so a lot of lead synth a lot of um, um, 808 kicks and that sort of stuff that we're like eh. so that's why we made it this way if anybody asks <laughs> that's the <a> reason <laughs> And if, and if nobody was asking and they have something that they, that they don't like this sort of stuff, then let us know. Um, this is how we we work. We gave it to some of the um, the uh, demo composers and they liked it dealing this way. We kind of work in a fast way if we're doing trailers or film scoring or whatever. So, uh, what was that? Okay. So hopefully uh, you learned something today, not only the, this new product from, uh, from ours, but also uh, how would you use it to make your own sounds, how you play it to make your own um, customized sound if you want it. Um, you know, if you're doing a track at 150 BPM or at 80 BPM, when you play it, it's more, you know, you, you don't have to like sync it to, to your DAW. You can just play it. Um, have it be like you want okay I feel like I have I need to say more and I don't know what to say <laughs> so in the comments uh, or um, uh, Facebook Twitter and um, YouTube uh, Pulse Setter Sounds and VI Control uh, we're always there as well VI Control.net and Soundboard.com and not gear sluts <laughs> we love gear but it uh, got crowded over there um 
okay just let us know if you like it you like more of these sort of stuff and we we'll always welcome we we'll always welcome feedback don't get intense and then get critical um, just try to be constructive if you want something different not a teenage 15 year old like ah oh, that sucks why you sound sad you know that sort of stuff <laughs> be proactive um, okay thanks a lot for watching and and if you want more of these sort of tutorials let me know um, how my voice and accent is doing I know <laughs> I don't have a nice British accent like it's fashionable nowadays I guess so uh, any sort of feedback is uh, welcome thanks a lot thanks for watching